Hello and welcome to the Retro Attack 100 Facebook pages 20 PRK challenge, but in this case it's a 2 credit challenge because each credit takes 2 coins We are going to be playing Marvel vs Capcom Clash of Superheroes A Capcom classic released on Dreamcast, Playstation and the arcade and then it was later released in compilations for the Dreamcast uh, Sorry, not the Dreamcast, the PlayStation 3, the Xbox 360, which of course, you know, is pretty cool. And we are going to select well, some of our heroes now. We're going to select the War Machine. And we're going to select Ryu. And we're against Jin and Venom. We are Venom, are we? Well, we are going to kick your ass, Venom. I'm just going to cheap him out by uh, just doing my shoulder cannon over and over again. No need to do anything else with these guys. Yeah. Easy peasy. Bam bam bam. Okay, Mega Man. Mega Man is a little dick bag in this game. So hopefully we can make light work of him, because he tends to slide under everyone's attacks because he's so small. But this time he's actively jumping into him. Which works fine for me, I'll just keep spamming. Eat my shoulder cannon. Oh, it was nearly a perfect, but still, decisive victory. These first levels are quite easy, but it does start scaling quite quick. This one's quite tough. Stay still so I can spam you, you little git. Ah, I'm just gonna spam you. It's called the Tekken strategy. Just repeat the one move over and over until you win. That's why it's called the Tekken strategy, because you can do that with uh, almost every character in Tekken. In every Tekken. Not just one, in all of them. In fact, there are some Tekken games with infinite hit combos where you just keep repeating it over and over and they can't escape. And whilst the AI in this game is kind of dumb at first, it's not that dumb. And uh, the balance team have worked fairly well on it, so there are no infinite hit combos that are, that are easy to pull off, at least not as easy as Tekken's where you just press like two buttons. Um, okay, moving on. Moving on. Magneto Morrigan. Okay, Magneto Morrigan. Oh, it's uh, Gambit, sorry, Morrigan. Where did I get Magneto? Oh, Magneto's my, uh, my support character in this one. That's where I got that from. Oh, I may have to break my spamming technique here. Yep. Marvelous. 
Okay, let's get Ryu out of there. Oh, jinkies. That's bad. Oh, he's blocked it. That could be me done for. Wolverine and Zangia thing. Oh, this is going to be painful. Ready. Fight. Just got to keep him at bay. Wolverine's a good character in this game. He's just a good character in general, isn't he, really? Boom! That's just Zangia. Look at the damage. Boom. So we are going to tag out. Get old Ryu in the game. There we go. Bra, 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 bra. No. Uh, Cap and Spidey. Ready. Fight. That's bad. Oh. That's good. Okay, it's Spidey down, just the cap now. I missed him! Gonna block my dragon punch, which is a bit cheap. Says the guy spamming fireballs, but I digress. Ready. Fight. Get up. Okay. 
Oh, I did Dragon Punch instead of the Fireball. Final boss. Okay, here we go. Ready. First should have fallen down. Now it's the hard one. No one is safe. Yes! One credit clear. Okay, it might have been cheap, it might have been tacky, but I did it. One credit clear! Now we see the ending. Now I can go shopping with Eliza. See ya! I'm ready, Sean. Give me a best shot. Look at my armpit. Yeah. Boohoo, roly poly. All these characters that don't actually appear in the game apart from support characters. Such a shame. They could have really made a, a, an incredible fighting game. They did with a sequel, to be fair, though. Thank you for playing. Game over. Game over indeed. Juggy wuggy woo wah. Game over. Still with a credit in the tank. <laughs> One credit clear. Very happy to do it. I love Marvel vs. Capcom. I did it the kind of cheap and tacky way, you know, spamming moves and whatnot. But when you're in a challenge, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? It's perfectly legal. I didn't cheat. I just used technique. Hey, it works. And I win. I win the game. But I don't win the challenge because when you beat a game, if somebody else beats the game, it's whoever beats the game quickest that wins. So my moves repeating, you know, my repetition, 
might actually bite me in the ass and I may lose the challenge. Find out. Join the Retro Tech 100 Facebook page. You'll be able to see the results of every challenge so far. I think I've won about 20 of them. So uh, um, I'm, I'm currently in the lead, but there are a couple of people right on my tail. Anything can happen. Join the join the game, join the fun, join the challenge, jump in, try and beat me. You've still got a fair few months in a year and there's one challenge every single week. So let's see you on there. Until next time. Bye.